Hi, you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. It's Pretty Moore. It's Charming Joe. And we are here with another episode, Yet Evolution another. of Us. Yes, it is. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. So, baby, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> You're excited. I am. I love this topic we're talking about today. It's I know. Cool. I like this one. Saying what I'm saying and everything. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you say the same thing in, in, in every intro. So. Yes, I do. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I like your outfit. I love this robe. So, you know, so, so nice. I have a little silk on. Very, very nice. Special gift from, uh, you know, someone special. Oh. Well, let's be nice. And it is. Yeah. And that <laughs> important. Hmm. She don't play by me. Oh. Shoot. <laughs> no, I don't. But anyways. As for those of you who know and for those of you who don't, we are Evolution of Us. Yes, we are. We are the DMV's newest podcasters. Yes, Lord. DMV stands for D.C., Maryland, Virginia, yes, and Lord. Baltimore. <laughs> I keep throwing Baltimore in and I keep telling you tonight. So, shout out Morgan State. Anyway, yes. um, but we come to you with political topics such as money, family goals, mm-hmm. gosh, friendship everything likes and dislikes yeah so definitely like comment subscribe let us know how y'all feel um anything that we're not talking about any new um ventures any things you guys want to discuss yep. any comments you guys have any experiences testimonies put those in the comments subscribe yeah those you guys may be a guest appearance and um we'll get the conversation going yeah we will yes what's today's topic baby no, 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 no. We got, we got to love ourselves. I know. Right? We do got to love ourselves. I'm jumping ahead of myself. I, and I do that sometimes. Right. I do that sometimes. I do. I ain't going to lie to you. But you know what? Since we love ourselves a lot, yeah. I love you even more. Yeah. We're going to take a shot. Yeah. yeah. I know what time it is. You know what time it is. Hey. Can we stop putting what, water in there? They won't know the difference. <laughs> Woo. I'm trying to figure out what happened to my orange juice that was right here. Oh, yes. I put it over there. I'm oh. sorry. I didn't know you wanted the orange juice over there. I'm <laughs> so sorry. Hey. Hey, I'm sorry. Thank I you. apologize. I'll live. You will? Well, uh, uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to get my friends to turn together. You know? Yeah. Can you see Why? <laughs> <laughs> I get my position together. I'm sorry, baby. But yes, today's topic. What is it? Sextimacy. Sextimacy. I like that title. Yeah, it's a it's little thing. Real that, cute. Um, you he know, just so created it. I think we just um, we haven't like really dibbled and dabbled in the love language and the more intimate side of relationships. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be sex or whether it be affection or how to be affectionate with your man or how to be affectionate with your woman. So I think this is very important to talk about too. Mm-hmm. Um, just as important as any other thing. Mm-hmm. And I think between sex and intimacy, because if you don't know, they're not the same thing. They're not. They mean something totally different. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. So, you know, sex and intimacy, I think is, is the best title for it. You agree with me? I do. I, I think, think so. Agree. I think so. Okay. I totally want to go in heavy, but I got a few questions. I had a couple questions for you, but. I know, but first. can I do my little, little ice Yes, of course. Please? We can ice break it. Yes. Okay. So Let's if, ice break it. Right. Let's right. break it. I like these. And that. If you have watched Me Casa Si Pasa, uh-huh. go watch that. We did this the last time where I had a few questions that I asked him. It was kind of like this or that. Right. And this is pretty much the same type of thing. So I do want you guys to play along as well. For sure. I think I have like maybe one or two open-ended questions right. in there, but nothing long and drawn out. Just a few questions. And before you start, I want them to notate the ropes. Um, I know. You know, for the, the topic, you know, sex to me see, sex intimacy with the robes on. Yes. It's very appropriate. Yeah. Thank you, lady. It was a good idea, I know. <laughs> Thank it you, was. lady. It was. It was. Oh, yeah. Uh, very much a good idea. It was, you think so? I do. I love it. <laughs> cool. I love it. It's cute. Mine's mm-hmm. not as, as bright and vibrant and silky as yours. Okay. It's mm-hmm. okay. So, yeah, I like this one. This one's more comfortable. Yes. Mine's yes. for fashion. It was just yes. for comfort. It's okay, time out, will warm you up. There you go. You're there. <laughs> All right, first question. Cuddling. Yes. Ha- no, I'm playing. Go ahead. Uh, right. <laughs> Listen to the question first now. <laughs> yes. Cuddling after or no cuddling after? After. After sex. I'm going to say. Cuddling after sex. I'm going to say. I'm going to say cuddling. Cuddling? Yes. For how long? But not, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> but not for an extended period of time because I get hot. 
I get really high, my body temperature starts to elevate, mm -hmm. my heart rate increases, and mm -hmm. I legitimately book gloves. Yeah, God damn, boy. <laughs> legitimately, <laughs> I legitimately will start sweating, um, and it's, 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 I don't like the feeling of being hot and being snuggled up with somebody. Right, right. Yes, I'm a cuddler. I get it. I ain't catch that. I, I said somebody. I ain't saying you. I get you ain't catch that. I do, but ah, it, I know in my mind, slipping, I know it's always me. So Ooh. if you say somebody, it automatically just switches in my head. To and me. that's why I love you, because you understand me, even when I'm not understandable. Right. It better not be no somebody. It's not, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, yes. Cuddling, but not for an extended period of time. Okay. Final answer. Um... The munchies after sex, so eating after, or just going right to bed. Oh no, no, I gotta, I gotta give me a bowl of cereal, some chips, a yogurt. Um, if there's leftovers from dinner, I'll take a piece of chicken, a piece of anything before I go to bed. Right, hundred percent. A little snack. A little yes. snack. Definitely. Now let me ask you a question. Are you asking me what do I prefer or what tends to happen? What you prefer. Really, what you prefer? Okay, this is just me, this right? Is just you. Stuff I do. This is stuff that you yeah, do. Yeah, for sure. I already know, but yeah. Excuse me. Bless you. I had a sweet. Oh, I'm sorry. It's allergy season. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's just wool you got on. <laughs> right. Um. All right. Some clothes on during sex, or just all clothes off. Everything has to be off every time. What do you prefer? Oh, every time. No, um, I'm very uh, spontaneous. I think spontaneity is like one of my one one of my traits. So I don't necessarily. We're not always in a place where we can take all our clothes off. Right. Um. So and it's not necessarily like a planned session. You mm -hmm. know, sometimes it just happens where we are, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to enter as fast as I possibly can in the moment. So I don't have time to take off my shoes, my socks, my my underwear, my, my jeans, my pants, all her clothes. Like that, that takes too long. So sometimes I don't mind not being completely naked. Okay. And Please. yeah, so I like being spontaneous. So I would say I don't mind clothes com being completely off, mm -hmm. but I like to get it in, you know what I'm saying, Some, sometimes right. immediately. Right. Okay. Um, being on top or being on bottom? What do you prefer? Mm, I like to take control. Mm. And I think um, because of what I know about you mm -hmm. and your, your experiences that you, you know, you have to take control a lot. So I like to to kind of reverse the, the the experience that you've had. Mm -hmm. And I like to be, you know, in control. So I'm going to stay on top a lot, a lot more than you. But that's what you prefer, right? <sighs> I know, a little hard, ain't it? A little hard. Honestly, it doesn't really matter, but if I, if I pick, if I had to pick, I'm gonna pick one. I wanna say me me doing the work. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say me. Okay. All right, last question that I have. And this That's is, all you got? Yeah, I'm keeping it short and simple because we got go, some we go questions from you. This is a little teaser. Um, this is a controversial, well, it can be, and I okay. feel like it comes up a lot. Um, okay. Now, having sex and you have your hair wrap on women so do you prefer you know if we're in the bed we're laying down my hair wraps on i'm already ready for bed or do i need to take my hair wrap off when we have when we have sex does um, it matter like i mean well i love you no matter what right you know what what state you're in you know what condition you're in mm -hmm. in the moment right i think some nights calls for a little bit more preparation a bit more um attentiveness right a bit more um you know let me turn this person on a little bit more than i normally would right you know so i don't not all the time don't, mm -hmm. don't have your hair wrap on all the time right okay <laughs> <laughs> please not all the time have it on a little bit you know but if you, you were going to bed and you know you you're already prepared and we're in the we're you know headed to bed and something happens it sparks and mm -hmm. I'm not gonna tell you to take it off before you know. You right. know, if that's what you want to do, then that's what that's what you do. What you do. Okay. But if not, then I'm completely fine with your hair wrap being on. Okay. Yeah. Just checking. Just checking. Absolutely. Just checking. I know that's a thing. It is. It is. I think some women sometimes get a little lackadaisical when they have a man. And look, boy, I'm in a big t-shirt, my feet dusty. You know what I'm saying? I got the hair wrap on. 
I don't got my glasses on, so I'm looking at you all weird. You know, I'm not having a seizure. I just can't see much. But, you know, and I think we got to get better with that as, as as far as women. Right. You know, like, turn your man on. Like, he he's out all day. He mm-hmm. sees other uh, women, and he's not supposed to be looking at them, but mm-hmm. he can't with his eyes see. You know, so when he sees it outside and it looks appeasing to the eye, when he gets home, what's going to keep him home is if he knows what he has in, in the house. Mm-hmm. And if all he has at the house is a bandana, then... You know, he's not a gang member. He doesn't want a bandana all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a gang member, Sumi Hart. So help him out. Help him out a little bit. Right. Exactly. <laughs> no, I understand because when you get in the bag, get your hair up all your comfortable and sometimes you wanna, you know, get it popping, but it's like, you know, it's gotta I understand. be sexy. You, still you gotta, gotta be sexy. sexy. <laughs> you gotta be you gotta be sexy. Now I'm not saying I don't accept you in all stages forms and fashions in which you come. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is... In which I come? So you are. Oh. You do come. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I, I do want you guys to understand that we are visual as men first. Mm-hmm. We need to see... First, right? Absolutely. Sometimes. Absolutely. And to see sometimes. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You say your shirt's open. You're not necessarily showing me much, mm-hmm. but my imagination is not running wild. Right. So what could be a, up under there? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So sometimes we want to see a little bit. Right. And we can't see much with the hair wrap on. We can't mm-hmm. see much with the big T-shirt on. Right. Sometimes. Right. Right. I get it. But um, I get it. that's my take. I get it. No, we're not gang members. Don't forget that. <laughs> right. I get it. I okay. understand. Some of us aren't. But that ends my uh, my question. Yes. You did very good. Oh, thank you. you so yeah. There was no right and wrong. I just wanted to just, you know, bring it up. And. Good. And then that's funny because I want to get into or kind of tap into the, um, I guess, the most serious portion of our uh, mm-hmm. our topic. What is the difference between sex and intimacy to you? And what does mm-hmm. intimacy mean? Mm-hmm. And what does, is sex only the, the act? Mm-hmm. Is it the, the prelude? Mm-hmm. Is it the, you know, the foreplay? Like, what does that actually mean for you? Mm-hmm. And how do you distinguish? How do you determine which well, one you kind of, I like that you brought up one of the words because foreplay was on my mind. Okay. Um, foreplay to me is more like intimacy. Like you can foreplay all of, play around all day and okay. not have sex. Um, intimacy is strong, touching, cuddling, kissing, touch, all of that stuff. Okay. Um, I think, you know, that's what intimacy is as well. Right. So the closeness, kind of like the soul and your soul just kind of touching each other and just becoming one. Right. Um, I think sex is more of the action. Okay. Um, you know, you know, going through the the motions of it really is what, what sex okay. is. And intimacy can just be something simple like just laying on the couch, putting on a movie that you guys like, a snack that you guys like, maybe if you have some drinks or whatever. And you could just be laying I could just be laying on top of you. And you could just be rubbing my back, rubbing my feet. All of that is intimacy. Okay. It's a time I think when the mind and the souls, they just connect just here, mm-hmm. just off of a physical touch, really, just, and, and just sight. And Love just, language, by the way. Yeah, just, just, just stuff like that. It doesn't even have to be the, the whole, you know, everything with sex. It doesn't okay. have to be like that. I agree with you 100%. I think that um, intimacy is more the, um, it builds the anticipation when you're, when you're, when you're intimate. It does. Um, it builds the, you know, the, the love, the, the closeness, the connection a lot more mm-hmm. when you're intimate, especially when you're intimate right before sex because people don't understand that in- intimacy can be that and it leads, it doesn't even lead to sex. Right. Like you said, like intimacy can be just me laying with you, mm-hmm. me touching you, right. me giving you a massage. Right. And not trying anything else. Right. <laughs> me rubbing your feet, me rubbing your shoulders or your back. Mm-hmm. And the closeness. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's more important and it makes the sex itself a lot better it once you guys does. can master the intimacy. Yeah. And I'm speaking for us as, as men. Mm-hmm. Uh, my next question is to you, which one is most important in a relationship? Is it, is it the intimacy or is it the sex? Now, mind you, mm-hmm. does this, what if, okay, let me rephrase that question. If you could have really good intimacy and really bad sex, mm-hmm. a really Good sex and really bad intimacy. Which one would you choose? Um, I would prefer to have really good intimacy and really bad the really bad sex. Gotcha. And I gotcha. say that because you say this a lot too. And you say that obviously because we're recording. Because there's no way you say that if we were not recording right now. What? <laughs> I'm just playing. 
No, but it's something that you actually, it's a hard question too. This one is a hard question because when you think about sex, you're thinking about a lot of stuff. You're thinking about size. Yes. You're thinking about lubrication. You're thinking about a lot of stuff. And it's just right. like, I don't want bad sex. Like, right. who wants bad sex? You know, that's like something that really brings most people together. So it's like, um, do I, I don't want bad sex. I'd rather have you know, good sex and bad intimacy. But the problem with that is you spend a lot more time being intimate than having sex. You're not having sex all day, right? You spend more time being intimate. Intimacy, like I said, is something so small. Like if I'm in the kitchen and you come behind me and you just start kissing me and rubbing my shoulders or rubbing, rubbing my, you know, hips and my butt, all of that is intimacy. So for me, it's like with sex, and I agree with what she said um, before in the past, um, right. off air, you say that um, sex can be taught, right? So it kind of depends on what you're dealing with, but sex can be taught. You can teach your partner how to have really good sex. So I still would say intimacy. I like cuddling, I like touching, I like uh -huh. playing. And if that is bad, then we can't have sex anyways. Gotcha. To me, we can't foreplay and all that, we can't even have sex. Because uh -huh. wow. he's trying to just like, like, do you like me? Intimacy is right. also a way of showing that you like your partner. Okay. Right. It's like, you know, no. no. No, I 100% agree with you when it comes to um, that last part you just said. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, for women, I'm speaking for women now, like sometimes you guys just need to feel the penetration. We do. And yeah. I've learned that, or I guess it's different for women who are in love or are not, or are dating for purpose. Mm -hmm. I guess that even controls the way your body receives sexual attention. Mm -hmm. Like it's not just about, you know, how hard he's, or how big he, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like mm -hmm. sometimes he can be a little bit more, not as blessed in that area, but the love, you know, he loves you a lot more. Right. He, he's more, he's so attentive to your body. Right. And he takes care of you. You know, he, he makes sure that, you know, he's not selfish in the act. Right. And that can sometimes send you to a place of pleasure that mm -hmm. um, a person who, who is, isn't, isn't doing that for you right. can send you to. Right. And, and that's important, right. I think. So um, I guess with intimacy, I would say, also, how do you have that conversation when it's, you have to be, I guess, with your partner and you, both of you guys have to sit down and kind of come to an understanding like, hey babe, like this is my concern. I don't think the, the sex is where it needs to be or the intimacy is there. Like, mm -hmm. is the conversation the same? Like, how do you go about having that type of conversation? Yeah. As a woman, and I'm gonna talk and uh, speak for a man. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. And just to piggyback off what you said, as right. far as like with the int intimacy and the bad sex, it's just kind of hard because it's circumstantial as well. Okay. Um, and I think as far as what you're asking me now about, you know, having that conversation with somebody, mm -hmm. you need to just have, be truthful, be honest, be upfront. It's really, it can be really hard to talk about somebody's, you know, a sexuality as far as you're not liking them. You don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. Right. You don't want to hurt mm -hmm. your partner's feelings. Um, but I think being upfront and being truthful and just having a serious conversation um, and, and not allowing it to be long and drawn out. If you if it's something that you've noticed for a while, it's just going to get worse. Okay. if It's an issue. Right. So. Um, Do you put in the bud? Don't mean to cut you off. Is it an. It happened once, we need to talk about this in the right. moment. No, not or, in the moment. Like nip it in the bud okay. before you guys, that's what I'm about to get to. Like before you guys have sex, like try to make it in a time when you guys are not gonna have sex. Because that's like a turn off. Like I'm about okay. to tell you something right before we're about to have sex. So you're saying have the sex first and then afterwards, if it's, it's something that he needs to, or she needs to work on, have the conversation before it happens again. Or even a time period where there's no, no sex going on. You just right. sit and watch the TV. That's what I'm saying. Whatever. So this, when the yeah. sex happens, so you, cause you can't right. know if you right. like it or not. Exactly. It happens happens. already and then right. you bring it to light. Right. Yeah. Okay. Got you. So how does that conversation go? Um, just like how you said, hey, babe, I want to talk to you about something. Um, you know, we had sex last night and this happened or X, Y, and Z and I don't like this. Just kind of keeping it real blunt and clear so the person can understand. Okay. But I do believe in being like very nice and, and understanding. Um, I just have that like loving side of me. So you do want to kind of like lay it on thick, but right. don't be very rude about it. Like just exactly. be like, you know, this is this is what's happening. Like, what are we going to do? Now, is the conversation different from a person who may be in love um, as opposed to a person who's still dating? 
Because when you're dating, you're not necessarily in love with the guys you're talking to. You're just trying to figure out who to be or who you can be in love with. Right. Is that conversation different or is, is it the, the same formula? I mean, typically when you're dating Because my someone, feelings aren't, I'm not, I don't care as much as I would if I loved you. Like, right. Well, but I look, think. Girl, it's, some, it's not there and we need to fix it. Well, look, I think to, tone should be the same all across the board. That's something technology. that we should always work on, how we okay. speak to people. Gotcha. But te- uh, typically when we're dating, this is what we do. We don't end up telling the other person if there's something we don't like sexually because we're dating. And if it's a deal breaker for us, we end up just not telling them and just moving on. Right. That's what a lot of people do when they're dating. So if it's something that you really like that you're dating, you like them, you really had that. And have that conversation with yourself first in your mind, you know, kind of make that left side, the left, the, the left list. The, the pros and cons list. I understand. Um, where you can kind of weigh out everything and then come to them with that. Even right. if you're dating, because if you're looking for something serious mm. down the road, you still want to be a prime. So. Got you. But it's, it's a throwaway. I mean, you don't, you don't, you're not obligated to tell somebody if you like something or not, if you're not going to be with them. I mean. Yeah, but I think if you're giving your body up, I think nothing's a throwaway. I think if you, he wasn't a throwaway and you didn't think that way before you laid down with him. Right. So I think right. he deserves that conversation. He does deserve to know what you don't like. But what I'm saying is a lot of people just don't do that. They just kind of just don't end up saying what they don't right. like about what happened. And for men, I think our, because uh, it's, it's, it's typically it's typically us who doesn't, we don't know how to show the affection. And, you know, women call us selfish doing sex. You know, we only care about ourselves and right. making sure that we are um, satisfied. And I think the conversation that we need to have is first with ourselves. Mm-hmm. Hey, what am I offering her mm-hmm. sexually? Um, right. Um, am I being intimate enough? Am I caring enough about her body, how she feels? Mm-hmm. Um, am I listening to her? What does she like? Right. right. What doesn't she like? Right. You know what I'm saying? How can I be better at X, Y, and Z? And coming in with a completely open mindset. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, then every, and understanding also that every woman is not the same. You can't please every woman the exact same way. Mm-hmm. You have to make sure you have that conversation with her. She can tell you exactly how she needs it, and you kind of piggyback and build on, on top of that. Right. But we kind of go through with this one size fits all mm-hmm. mentality, and it right. you know it, it, it doesn't work for us. And in our mind, we don't care enough because at some point we feel like well we got it already. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, for the when we that's for dating, but when we're in a relationship, you know, we're obviously we're trying to settle down. This is the person that we're giving ourselves to. Right. Still, same concept. Keep an open mind. If she mm-hmm. sits you down and she tells you something that you're not doing or that you need to do more of or that you are doing that she doesn't like, mm-hmm. have that conversation with her and listen to what she's saying because mm-hmm. she knows how to please herself a lot more than we know how. Right. Um, and I think being open, and I think that also can go for women as well, being open for the man and understanding what he what he, what he likes because the I, the anatomy of the body for both men and women are completely different. Right, absolutely.